Welcome, Cancer, to your mid-month reading for December. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the mid-month. This message, please, for Cancer. We have the Knight of Wands coming out. The Knight of Wands is talking about moving passionate. Um, it feels like somebody is moving passionately towards you, Cancer. Um, definitely could be a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. That's definitely my Aries sign, but it doesn't have to be an Aries. But it's definitely someone is moving passionately towards you during this time. I be wanting to start something up with you. They feel like they have an emotional loss. Wow. So there is some kind of emotional loss going on within them. So they're definitely feeling lost without you. So they're trying to move passionately towards you. Wow. I keep hearing the word makeup for a breakup. They want to make up for the breakup. Okay. So getting straight into the situation, the situation is taking place in the present. We have the firm foundation is upside down. They do not feel like they are stable. And the recent past, they say they have. In the near future, it says um, the possible outcome is new beginnings in reverse, saying that there is not going to be a new beginning here. Um, definitely having the base chakra. is saying, I have. So let's see what they say they have. This is definitely taking place on their side. Because um, they definitely feel emotional loss without you. They're all messed up. Having the self-will saying, I do have the self-will of the past. Yeah, that's an X. Trying not to nostalgically think about the situation could be definitely dealing with the Scorpio. I have Scorpio here now twice, guys. So um, definitely talking about how they're missing you, how they're missing the past, how they're nostalgically thinking about this, how they don't want this to be over, how they're not trying to see this as a past. It's kind of like, I don't see this as goodbye. I see this until next time uh, because they're not going to let this go. Um, definitely. Uh, with the page of wands, they say, well, we had some problems and we had some issues and you might have thought I was disloyal to you, but they don't see it this way. They are not seeing it the way that it was um, put out in your mind. So their perception of how they see the relationship ending is not exactly on the same page, uh, the same page as the way you see it. I see it as you think that they were disloyal and dishonest, um, with the page of wands upside down and they're saying, I was not disloyal and dishonest. No. And okay. So you have Aries now twice and, um, uh, three times got Aries three times and, uh, excuse me, Scorpio, and then that could be a Sagittarius card. And this can also be a uh, Sagittarius a Capricorn card as well. Sag Cap, uh, Cusp. But however you want to see it, it, they're just saying that this was, it, it, went, it was not their intention. It was not their intention for it to end this way. Something happened and it wasn't, that wasn't, wasn't what was intended. So whatever you believe that the intention was, they're saying that's not how it went. That wasn't the intention. The intention wasn't to have the fallout. The intention was not to have no passion. See, I want the passion. That's why I want to come back to you and show you I have the emotional loss without you. That was not my, I just keep hearing, that's not my intention. Firm foundation is upside down. They're not feeling stable at all. There is no vitality, no stability um, within them. Um, the only thing that they really have is the moving forward. They want to come towards you passionately, but right now they're not really 100% moving. Um, not the way, I, I want to say they're, you're blocking them. Who's blocking them? They're blocked. They feel like they're blocked. Uh, Six of Swords upside down. You block them. Like they can't get through. Somebody blocked them on Instagram. Um, they're blocked. They can't get through. Um, and they know it. They've been blocked. Some of you literally even picked up and moved home. Um, and they can't find you. 
It's driving them crazy. That's what's making the firm foundation even worse. Now they're clearly thinking about the depression that they're going through. Um, it even feels like they're clearly thinking about the depression that you're going through, which is kind of crazy if you think about it because it's like this is what they're clearly thinking and then this is a Cancerian card and it's almost like I see what I put you through, but it wasn't the intention. That wasn't my intention. I'm just going to keep saying it. Take it how it resonates. Uh, Ace of Coins over here, they want to make a promise. They want to come back. They want to uh, fix this with the Ace of Coins. But there's no satisfaction guaranteed. They don't think you're going to take them back. No. They think that you're too sturdy in this situation. There's You're um, too strong-minded, too strong at this point. Um, to want to take them back, but they're trying to find the courage within themselves because they're saying, I'm a courageous person. I just don't see them doing that because they've pretty much stood their ground. Cancer stood their ground. They said they were not, they're not going to take this, especially if you've already blocked them or moved or did something. You might not even work at the same work and they went to the work and you weren't there. Um, so they're trying to think of all these different ways that they're going to come to you and try to offer you the love back. Um, they do have feel codependent without you. Um, there is a definite codependency upon the heart and mind, <laughs> queen of swords and mind, analytically trying to figure out how they're going to do this. They can't. They love you. They, they're, it's, it's, yeah, could be dealing with Gemini as well. Um, they do love you, and they're saying, I have to figure this out. I don't understand how I'm going to show you my love. I don't know how I'm going to find you. I can't, or how I'm going to come at you. Um, in the near future, there's an ending, but they have the strength and it's because it's showing you're so strong. They can't get through. Yes, they can't get through. Um, so they're kind of walking on their stick over here because they, they can't get to you. And even if they did get to you, let's say that they do get to you, you showed that strength that they knew that they were already up against. Um, they do feel somebody might have Leo in their, their chart a lot. And that, that over strength coming through, or you might even be Cancer Leo cusp. And it's because I know a lot of my cusp signs also watch. Um, but it's also saying, look, I'm seeing this ultimate strength coming out of you, no matter what your signs are. It's saying, I'm firm about what I believe. I'm firm about what I'm doing. Um, you gave me 10 of swords, you're saying, and they're definitely you, excuse me. You are definitely taking your authority back. Um, not allowing this to take place, but they really want this change. They want to show you that they've changed, that they're more peaceful, that they have more harmony. Um, they will patiently wait. Um, they've been patiently wanting you, waiting for you to tell you the truth about the situation um, and how you feel that they're guilty. Uh, maybe they are guilty, but they want to tell you the truth about the guilty situation um, I do believe that they will say that they are guilty. It just wasn't the intention. I just, you guys, I can't stop saying that because it's, spirit is like, it wasn't the intention. They may have been immature with the page of wands. They acted stupid, did something, but they do feel guilty about the situation. But you're saying, no, I've already moved on. Um, and it's kind of giving you a little bit of anxiety having this person come um, back and try to do this. So watch your insomnia in, in your, because there was, it did show that you did love them. I mean, there was a lot of love before this happened, but they, you feel they played you as a fool, um, because they were foolish. And I, and you're saying, you're not going to play me as a fool. And I think that that's a lot of what you're believing is too, is that the, they might be coming back, try to play you as a fool again. Um, with the hangman upside down, they want you to take the risk, but it's causing you confusion. So I see more confusion um, and kind of putting you back into a neglectful, um, out in the cold kind of feeling about the situation. I think it's because a lot of you don't understand, is this the true truth? It, you know, because it, look, they're saying that they're sorry. They do feel like they were guilty. This wasn't what I wanted to happen. I truly do love you. Um, and you're saying, I loved you too, but you played me as a fool. I don't think I can take that chance. I don't see a lot of you taking the chance. I do see a lot of you very confused about the situation because I do feel that the emotional loss is coming from both sides. It's coming from your side and their side. 
Um, but with all the fire, it seems like it kind of gets under your skin um, where they're actually trying to push more passion in because they also have uh, the depression of the situation. Um, so you're trying to balance this, the scales over here. Um, let's see what the angel cards over here for the romance has to say about this situation. Some of you might even got a divorce from the situation or have signed um, and they're saying that they're guilty for this divorce papers um, and they want to fix this. They do not want the divorce. Um, I see this right here. So if you've already getting ready to sign uh, divorce papers, they're, they're trying to say, please don't do that. They want a second chance with you. So angels say, you deserve love. You are lovable. Don't think anything you know, less than let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others about the situation. See how this person feels about you. Worth waiting for. They believe that they, this can be fixed and they do have the passion and they really do want to fix this, but they are afraid that you have unrequited love. Um, but they want to retreat with you to try to fix it. So they really want to try to get your attention and try to, whoa, let go of control issues and renew the love, right? The new love would be the renewing of the new love, um, the kind of getting back to knowing each other. But they do believe that there's some kind of control issue that maybe that they need to release because um, they believe that they have a little bit of a control issue as well. Um, and that's because, well, that's why you've gathered up all your control because you're probably tired of them giving you so much control. Um, but however it is, love the situation to unfold naturally, um, is really what they're looking for so that they can renew the love and show you, but they can't show you because they feel they're blocked. Um, or even if they do come back to you and you're not blocked and they actually do, you're kind of side sweeping them. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't talk to me. And so that's still a block, right? Whether it's um, in person or however. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.